Hey everybody, I'm going to shoot another video about pH and in this video I'm more asking a question than explaining anything and I want to know if anybody can tell me why the pH in this tank increases over time. Now I'm going to go over a few things which will make it seem really really unlikely that the pH in this tank would go up over time but it does. First of all, I've got very soft water. The pH with the water we're starting with is no higher than 7. And that's if it comes out of my tap. It may be 7.3, depending on the season and what's going on with my water system. But it comes out right around neutral. I've got it set that way. The water that comes out of my ground is slightly acidic, but close to neutral. It's about 6.8 coming out of the ground. My groundwater has zero degrees carbonate hardness. My tap water has two degrees carbonate hardness. So when I do a big water change on this tank, we use tap water. And then when I top the tank off, I use my groundwater. And I actually top this tank off fairly frequently. It's only been a couple days and you can see I could already put two or three gallons back in there. So this tank gets zero degree carbonate hardness water added to it by the gallon on a regular basis lots and lots of water and even the water coming out of my tap has zero degrees carbonate hardness it's extremely soft water i've got zero degrees hardness no iron no magnesium or anything you can see the tannins in the water i mean it's almost tea stained it's so brown tannins of course reduce um your ph you know they'll, they'll increase the acidity and then we've got, you know, all that gas exchange going on. So there should be a reasonable amount of CO2 in the water. The CO2 won't build up in the water simply because there's so much gas exchange going on. Any CO2 that's being produced by the fish or any kind of decaying material that might produce a little CO2 as a byproduct or something, that's going to get off-gassed fairly easily and will not cause... Um, the carbonic acid to build up. CO2 dissolved into water is carbonic acid and if the CO2 builds up in your tank it lowers your acidity or it lowers your pH rather it increases your acidity. So I don't really have the CO2 aspect of it to be concerned about but I've got tannins galore soft water no carbonate hardness to speak of when i test this tank it always comes out at zero degrees carbonate hardness yet when i tested the ph and i used both litmus paper and the api test kit and i've been doing some experiments with them with some known sources and the litmus paper is sort of a generalized it gets you to the closest single number and then the api test kit is kind of the same way it gets you within the ballpark it's not going to be super precise but Based on the known quantities I was testing, they came out close enough to me that I thought we could get a good idea of what was going on with this tank. And one of the things that always makes me think my pH meter's wrong is that this tank always shows me having a pH way higher than I imagine it would be. I always assume the pH would go down in this tank as it sits here. Yet when I check the pH, the pH... Um, I mean, the litmus paper shows it being somewhere between 7 and 8. It looks closer to 8 than 7. And when I use the API test kit with the little vial and the drops, I actually use the high range this time to see what I got. And on that, it comes out showing it looking at about 7.6 or 7.8. Again, it's closer to 8 than it is to 7. Now, you tell me how I have a pH nearly of 8 in this tank and it's always like that every time I've checked it I've gotten a pH that's close to 8 and that's one of those things that I've said well that can't be right and then I go in and I immediately start messing around with my pH meter trying to test other solutions and find out if it's coming out right and you know it looks right but then I come back here and I test this tank and it shows it at 7.9 again and so how is that possible how am I how is the pH going up in this tank and it's not the rocks I know some of you might be thinking maybe I put some rocks in there that are the wrong kind of rocks they're not they're the same rocks I've gotten all my tanks they're rocks I've collected from around here locally and any rock I have the remotest question about I test with 
vinegar. You put a little vinegar on the rock, if you get some reaction, you get some bubbles and stuff, even if it's just the faintest of little bubbles developing, then you've got a reactive rock that will slowly raise your pH. The more vigorous it bubbles, the more quickly it will affect the pH in your tank. In this case, I've never gotten any reaction off of anything I've ever put in there. Um, you know, marble might be the only thing that would slowly raise the pH over time, but would be sort of hard to tell it was a, a calcium-based rock. And that's only polished marble. Uh, raw marble actually does have that sort of chalky feel, which is where I was going with this. Is if you've got any kind of rock that's got a sort of chalky feel, or it just feels unusually sort of dry to the touch, that is probably gonna be a calcium-based rock. And if you put some vinegar on it, you'll probably get some bubbles and reactions. Stuff like limestone uh, is a good example. If you've got stuff that's more hard and smooth, um, it's gonna be more like a granite or a quartz or you know, even uh, shale is gonna be sort of smooth. Although I think the shale might, I don't know. I don't know if shale would affect your pH or not. I don't think shale would actually. I think shale's a pretty common um, stone to add to people's aquarium that would not um, affect your pH. But again, I've got nothing like any of that in there anyway. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here as we look at the tank for a few minutes. But, you know, I don't, I don't know what kind of rocks I have in there. I wouldn't be able to identify them as feldspar or granite or whatever. But none of them affect my pH. Like I said, I've got those same rocks in all of my tanks and I don't have this issue with any of my tanks. I have one other tank that sits at a fairly high pH and that is my former gudgeon tank. And that one always had weird numbers, and again, no idea why, but that one always just had unusual numbers. This one, however, is the mystery. Can anybody tell me why you think my pH in this tank goes up? And right now, we're probably sitting at close to 8. And that just makes no sense to me. I just, I cannot fathom why the pH in this tank would go up. So, there you go. If you've got any thoughts on that, please share them with me. I would love to get some better idea. I always get just out of my depth when I start talking about pH and the water chemistry changing like that. It's just, it's, it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't know why this tank has a pH of nearly eight. So there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching this one. Please leave your comments down below. Don't forget this one is my waterfall tank and I will see you real soon in the next one.